y'all, it's Ashley here, and um, today I want to share some of my favorite reference books that I've used in the past, or I even use them now, and um, I just want to share these because they are great like references and resources that you can use as an artist to help en enhance your art and make it better. So let's begin. So one of the first books I ever got that it wasn't really like reference, well it was a reference book, but it's this one here. It's the Watercolor Flower Painters A to Z, and I actually got this at Joann's. And um, as you can see, I have a lot of tabs on it, and that's because um, I tabbed the ones that I wanted to use or work through. And this one is different from the rest just because it's actually, it's sharing, you know, the watercolors. So let me grab a page. Let's do this one, a Delilah. So in this book, it kind of, it kind of shares the um, watercolor colors that they use. And they also give you some tips and tricks to how to get, you know, the end piece. And this is different from my other books, because my other books are like interesting. Alright, my next book is the Complete In See now now you're eating the real Ashley. I can't talk to save my life. Okay. The Garden Flowers. So I got this one off of Thrift Books. And Thrift Books is one of my favorite online websites to buy books because you get them secondhand, and they're cheaper than buying like brand new books. Even though I really love buying, you know, new books. But um, anyways, so this is one of my favorite ones. Um, I use I have so many tabs in this one. Um, this is basically for honestly anyone, and um, I really love this one because it really gives you some really good references for your paintings or drawings or um, it's funny I I picked this one because we have we used to grow some but this one is just one of my favorites and all artists should have at least an encyclopedia <laughs> encyclopedia of flowers I think and it just has a lot of great references that you can use like in your sketchbooks or even um, actual paintings. Like I've done a few where um, I've used some references from this book. So we've got that one. And this one is kind of different than the last one. Um, this one is more of like um, creating um, like flower bouquets. But I really, I really love this one. So this one is the In Bloom Growing Growing, harvesting, and arranging homegrown flowers all year round. And um, this one is just a beautiful book. And it has a lot of good information. And one of the things that I love doing with this book is I like photocopying the pages. And then I'll use those, you know, for references as well. And so, um, yeah, I, I've used this one a lot, and I really, I really love this one. This one is a really good one, but I got this one off Amazon, so it's a little more expensive because it's it's newer and it's it's hefty, but I really enjoy it. Make sure that you're not just drawing from the photo if you're going to sell it, because then that'll be a copyrighted issue. In college, we were suggested to um, pick up the um, Bridgman's life drawing. Now I took a drawing class and so that's why um, I ended up getting this one. But what's really great is that this one isn't more of like a reference book, it's more of like to help you draw people and you know life drawing. And I really recommend this book for people who want to learn you know, how to draw people better and to really get you know um, who wants like a hands-on experience with um, drawing? And I really love using use it to this day. 
practice and that's that's amazing so I have that one and I actually when I bought that one I bought a bunch more um, because I just found out that I loved referencing these books and this is the book of a hundred hands um, I don't think I said the uh, the author or the artist um, George B Bridgman um, he has some other ones I have as well um, there's a head one and there's another one that I got um, on my recent trip to Italy but these just have these are just great references if you're just starting out and you want to learn especially this one a lot of people don't like drawing hands I personally love the challenge <laughs> and so you should get it if you want to learn Alright, now we'll go to these ones. So these books I recently found of my great-grandmother's. Um, they're just these really cool. This one is the um, Audubon Bird Guide, Eastern Land Birds. And I really like these because they have all the information about the different bird families and things like that. But they also have... Um, little sections in them with these um, illustrations of the birds and I really love using this in my sketchbook and just regular paintings and um, I just really enjoy using it um, for like practice drawing or just watercoloring and I don't know where you can get these um, these are part of you know family collection but um, 1946 but I bet you could find these like online anywhere. So I have this um, bird guide. Also have this wild flower guide. And it's about the same as the bird one. It has information about the different families of the flowers. And then has little um, plate cards where it has um, the um, bird or the birds. <laughs> has the flowers and the, you know, different leaves and things. And these are really inspirational. Especially for me where I just love learning about different flowers and things like that and to um, also my family's history there's a lot of my family history in this which I really enjoy I haven't really used this one much um, it's the field guide to ferns and then I also have one to trees and shrubs I don't really use these ones that often but they are great references they they about the same they have some pictures in these but I think these are, you know. I have the Encyclopedia of Dog Breeds. Now, other than drawing flowers, I really enjoy dogs. And so if, you, if you're kind of the same like me and you really like drawing like dogs and painting dogs and stuff like that, I really, I really recommend this one because um, it has a lot of great references and you can see all the different dogs and it's just a great book. I really love using this book as, as I previously mentioned, as references to, um, you know, drawing dogs. And you could also use this as references to actual dogs. Um, if you're doing a photo for a client or anything like that, you can use this to help get, you know, the gist of the breed. Um, if the photo is like an older photo and sometimes I like to use Pinterest for that as well as well as like Unsplash is a really good useful resource for artists because they are free copyrighted or non-copyrighted so you can use them is I haven't used this that much but it's the birds their life their ways their world and I haven't used it this much I got this one at a um, kind of like a fun thrift store but it has a lot of good references for birds. So I really enjoy this one. Um, I haven't drawn much from it, as I said, but um, it has like a lot of information and um, things like that, which is really good. So yeah, I think that is all the books that I wanted to talk about today. Um, let's get a picture. So before I leave you, I forgot to mention these ones, and I have a few landscape ones as well. But these are just bonus ones that I forgot to mention um, when I did the sit-down video. So um, 
This one is the Field Guide to Wildflowers. And this one is also from my grandma's collection. But um, I've, I've used this one a lot as well. And it's just another flower one. Um, I think it's it feels a little newer than the other ones. Um, and it's sectioned off with like white, the different colors of the flowers. And so we've got yellow and then orange and then pink and then red and brown. So this one's a fun one as well. So I have that one. And then I also have, um, I got this one a couple years ago. And I don't use it as much. But this one is just, you know, like the wildflowers of Texas. And so, when I'm feeling, when I want something different with actual photos that have, like, you know, color. These are nice. And then I mentioned my landscapes. So I don't usually use these as kind of like a reference. I've tried, but they're kind of just there for inspiration. So these are for photography, but I like to look at the different colors and I could possibly draw this one. And um, this could help me with my composition as well. But, 